Okay, so this is the third time that I'm trying to record this. The first two times I had memory card issues. Let's get this gift guide out there for you guys. So today, you know, it's been requested to do a men's gift guide and I'm gonna go over kind of my favorite products of 2020 and some of the products that maybe I've used in the past or ones that, you know, um, I would appreciate to receive as a male. And hopefully that would give you some ideas, you know, for, you know, special men in your life. Uh, to get this started, I'm gonna go right off the bat and start off with one of my favorite products is the Theragun. Um, and it's from a company called Therabody. The way I'm gonna do this is that I'm going to think all the products will be linked down below and I'll kind of go through the website and you know, just it's kind of like a session where we shop together, if that makes sense. So it seems like to right now at the time of this recording is December 15th and you know, I think we're right about the cusp where you know, it's that cutoff line on ordering things online to have a guaranteed delivery date. Right now they are having a $150, $150 off on some of their devices. Um, I have, let me see which one I have. I have the Theragun Elite uh, for $349. Um, it's good. I love it. Um, it's basically a machine that when you have you know, uh, soreness in your muscles, um, it'll help you relieve that. And it's kind of like a, a massage gun. Um, it's, it's super, you know, nice to use. It comes with an app that has guided, you know, massage um, routes for your body, if that makes sense. And it would actually tailor it uh, depending on the types of workouts you do. So, you know, it's a pretty cool product. If I was to buy it all over again, I'll go for the mini. I believe it goes for $100, um, just because I don't think I need the Pro. So it's, it's actually $199, I misspoke. And um, I think this would make an awesome, awesome gift. It's ultra portable, on the go treatment. Um, it doesn't have like some of the fancy features that the Elite does, but you can do your research. Um, I think this is a great, great gift idea for those who you know enjoy working out, and for those you know who are always feeling sore and and, and, and rolling with like a, a, a foam roller or something like that. I, all right, next. Um, you know, I'm always into tech, so let's talk about you know some of my favorite iPhone cases, and pretty much anything made from. Apple, um, I think it's really sleek and it complements and accessorizes the current iPhone. Um, I, it's it's tough because I really enjoy the design of the iPhone and, and it's it's sometimes it, it sucks or it's more of a disservice to me. You know, I can't really appreciate the design of the phone because I'm always covering it up with the case. It's a balance. You know, you want to protect your phone, but also you want to enjoy. You know how how great the design of that phone is um, as you're using it. So I feel like anything from Apple still keeps that minimal, nice design, like the silicone case or the leather case. I always grab one or two when I purchase my iPhones. But also if you are looking more for for a case that would protect your phone, uh, OtterBox is, has been the try and true test on, you know, um, protective cases. I know there's LifeProof, um, there's other cases from Case Defy, and a nice case is always welcomed because it always feels like you have a new phone when you pop a new case on it. So Apple has some pretty good cases on their website. Uh, the one I just picked up, as you probably saw in the in the vlog, is the OtterBox Unmute. Um, and I specifically like this one because it's very thin. It's the one I have right here. I, I, I love it. It's thin, and one thing I do like about it is that it's compatible with MagSafe. So the uh, Apple's new charging method, you know, it's like a, a puck. If you have an Apple Watch, you, it's probably a similar thing, but just bigger. And um, you just, uh, you know, just charge it by, you know, clamping the magnetic uh, puck on the back of the phone and it charges your phone. Not all cases are compatible with that charging method, so it's good to know that, you know, OtterBox made a case that protects your device, but it's also compatible with, you know, Apple's new charging method, which is pretty cool. Um, for more, you know, on people that are into tech and want to protect their phones or, or getting iPhone accessories or accessories for their phone in general, whether it's Android or iPhone, I think a great company to, um, look at um, if you are wanting to gift uh, these types of things is Nomad Goods. Um, this is a great uh, company that I've been following for a couple years now and I'm a big fan of their accessories. They have different types of cases, you know, they have a, a folio case that you can see here. This is pretty much a wallet case, you can keep your wallets here. Um, and it's all very sleek, high quality. I'm really, really appreciative of their design. It's uh, super cool. They have different types of products like this Base Station Pro. Um, this is a great, great gift idea. I remember uh, Alex's mom actually gave me um, something similar to, like this and I still have it to my nightstand where I charge my uh, AirPods. Uh, I have, you know, I charge my phone, my iPad. 
my uh, Apple Watch all in one little pad like this. So um, if you were to see here, I have the Apple Watch, two phones and the AirPods right there and you can all keep it nice, compact and sleek and minimal, um, which is super, super cool. Um, right now it's back ordered, but a lot of different companies make products like this, like Nomad is not the only one. Uh, if you were to go to Belkin, Belkin's another great brand and another great company that makes good products, they have something similar like this. For the techies out there, what else can we talk about? Let's talk about Bluetooth headphones. Um, my favorite pair of Bluetooth headphones right now uh, for working out especially are the Powerbeats Pro. Um, if I was to go to the Apple website again, search here, go Powerbeats Pro. These headphones right here are retailing for $250. But wait, if you go to Best Buy, I bet you can find a deal on them right now. So, cause for $250 right now, they're kind of rich. That's how much I bought them for. There's a lot of newer headphones that are coming out. You know, I, I, won't, I wouldn't necessarily pay the 250 today, but um, at the time I really needed them. But if you were to go to Best Buy and go to uh, Beats by Dr. Dre, Power Beats Pro. Right now they are $100 off. Um, and I'm still thinking they are guaranteeing delivery. Um, see, I can pick it up in my local Best Buy today. Um, so they have lots of stock available. I would highly suggest, you know, trying to pick these up. These red ones look like they're $100 off. And I think they're a great, great deal. These headphones are amazing when I'm, you know, I used to use like the regular original Opa, Opods, they're original uh, AirPods. And, you know, when I used to run, I used to get windy and it, I, I really had to crank up the volume to hear what I was listening to. They're more fuller and, and, and richer in sound. So um, great pair of headphones for $150. I think they are a great value. Other good brands that make uh, great headphones are, you know, I've, I've heard good things about the Javas. Uh, let me see if I can find them. Let me see if they have them here. Uh, Java, Java Bird, I think it's called. Jaybirds, yeah, I've heard good things about the Jaybirds for true wireless headphones and things like that. You know, they're more on the affordable spectrum. So that's another great idea too. Uh, I like anything from Audio Technica as well. Um, in terms of over the ear Bluetooth speakers, I know Apple just announced the AirPods Max, which right now they are going for $550. And these are pretty much unattainable um, through the website. So you might have to go in store to see if they have any any stock available because as of right now they are available starting off tomorrow but shipping i believe let's pick a basic color like space gray these are shipping um 12 to 14 weeks from now so that's something to keep in mind um i think they probably would have some stock in inventory uh, but again, $550 from a pair of headphones, that's a lot, a lot of money. So, uh, alternatives, they have the, you know, the Beats Studio 3. I've had, th those have been my over the ear headphones and I, you know, like them a lot. Um, but they are a bit outdated now. I think they've been out for a while. So, you know, it's here, they're retailing for 350 on the Best Buy website, which is still pretty pricey at that point. You know, it's, it's tough because you can um, go with the Sony XM4s, which are the gold standard right now in terms of noise canceling headphones. And I think you can find these on sale. Yeah, here you go. So on Best Buy, you can find the Sony XM4s for $278, which to me, I think is a great deal. Um, these have been the gold standard. You can get them today. I think it'll be a great gift for those who love enjoying hearing music. For those who love Bose, the Bose 700s are also a great value um, because they are known for noise canceling. Um, I have, you know, tried these. I've never owned them or did extensive testing, but for what I'm hearing and the research that I've done and, and you know, my small like in-store experiences, uh, you know, these headphones are great as well. So noise canceling headphones, those are my recommendations for great gift ideas in terms of uh, Bluetooth headphones. Let's talk about speakers. Um, Bluetooth speakers, uh, my favorite types of Bluetooth speakers are, you know, and it's pretty much a one-stop shop. I enjoyed them. The first product I had from them was the UE Boom 2, um, Logitech Ultimate Ears. Um, I think this is the best company in terms of Bluetooth speakers for a mixture of value, you know, the price they charge and the quality you get out of them. I've had, you know, the same speaker for about four or five years now and it's going strong, it's going strong. And what I like about them is that you can pair them up with an app, you can pair them up with, you know, two different speakers and create like a stereo sound. Um, it's really, really good. And I really just enjoy their quality. And uh, for, I would say like a hundred to 70, 80 bucks, depending which one you get, um, I think it is a awesome, awesome deal. Um, check out Ultimate Ears. I think they, 
provide a student discount. Um, yep, if you go to student here, I think you could get a student discount. Let me see how much the discount is, 20% off. So if you're a student and you are subscribed to Unidays, um, I think it's a free you know, registration. You get 20% off the product you buy. So I think this is an awesome gift. Uh, you can never get enough of music and Bluetooth music like right here. The Wonder Boom 2 is $99 and uh, you get great, great sound, great durability, waterproof. You can take it anywhere. You can beat it up. It's, it's a great, great speaker. Um, I highly recommend it. And, you know, you can probably check if, you know, I always check Best Buy because uh, they might have some deals still going on. So um, UE Boom speakers. And I'm telling you, you know, in terms of Bluetooth speakers, I don't look anywhere else. This to me is my number one recommendation. Um, 124 for the, the bigger one, uh, boom, boom two, eighty dollars. Like so, you can probably find some deals. Just you know, this is a great brand, and if you, if you can find them on sale, I highly recommend. Um, all right, so we did Bluetooth headphones, and we did uh, Bluetooth speakers as well. Let's talk about men's uh, skincare, men's uh, maintenance, men's skincare regimen, and you know, one thing that we have in all of our bathrooms are. Dude wipes. If you go to dudeproducts.com, um, these dude wipes are amazing. They're nice and wide. They have, you know, a lot of, you know, surface area to get a nice, satisfying, clean wipe. So dude wipes, uh, great stock and stuff or whatever you want to do with them. They're amazing. They're great. We have them, we have them in every single bathroom in our house and they are amazing. Uh, I highly recommend. Uh, so that's dude products. Another uh, company that I really, really been put onto is Manscaped. And, um, you know, I was very, very skeptical of them. I think I found out um, about this company through a podcast that I was listening to or whatever. But listen, this is the real deal. And, you know, not, none of these um, products that I'm saying right now, I'm, this is not advertised. This is not, you know, I'm not getting paid to say any of this. But Manscaped is really, really legit. I was very skeptical at first. And the first product that I tried, I got it off of, uh, I believe they sell it at Target, but I got it off the website because they offer uh, discounts to uh, military. And um, actually, they actually offering a discount to everybody right now. So if you take advantage and order it through their website, you can probably get a good deal too. Um, but the Lawnmower 3.0, it is the best men's grooming device um, that I've ever used. I've used the Philips Norelco before. I have not had good things. Um, it always used to catch as I was shaving um, and it wasn't a pleasant experience. Um, I would recommend these uh, Lawnmower 3.0s to pretty much anybody, male or female. Like this is just amazing. It's very smooth. You can sign up for their um, you know subscription plan where they send you a ceramic blade every single three months, I wouldn't say, and it, it, it'll just keep it hygienic it clean and, and and keep it good to go moving and it's completely amazing um, it's a strong enough mortar so like it, it really cuts through the hair you're able to adjust the length of the clip it's it's good stuff um, I highly recommend it again I was very skeptical at first I tried it and I'm sold uh, this is a great great you know to any you know person this is a great gift that I think would uh, you know would be really cool do you know a man that uh, or a male that has a wallet and their wallets are like super super thick that they look like this and you know, having this in your back pocket while sitting down is probably not good when you're sitting down. I had to solve that issue, especially you know, working from home and working at a desk a lot. This here was a game changer. This is called the Ridge Wallet. The Ridge Wallet is a you know, slim profile type wallet. Um, it has a money clip or a cash strap, and I'm able to hold 12 cards in here. It's made out of high quality materials, whether, you know, depending the material you buy, whether it's aluminum, titanium, carbon fiber, they have a bunch of different materials, uh, the price would go up. But I think, believe these start right under $100. So let's check this out on the website. Um, this is one of my favorite wallets. I really enjoy them. So right now they are offering 10% off their order. And let's go to the original here. Again, depending which material you pick, the price goes up. But I think I have the money clip and I picked the titanium one. Um, but this is the aluminum navy and it starts off at $75. And yes, they are a lot of dupes on Amazon regardless. But the reason why I paid the full price is because I like to buy things once and, you know, not buy them again. I like to, you know, the things I purchase, I like them to last a long time and it to be backed by good warranty. Um, so uh, these have a lifetime guarantee. If there's any, you know, defects in material or worksmanship, you're able to, you know, uh, put in a claim for a warranty and get this replaced. So. Uh, this is really cool. I, I mean, it, it, it changed my wallet from this to this. If I need some cash, not everybody carries cash, but I probably put like, you know, two $20 bills here. Good, good. And it's good to go. Great gift. Ridge wallet. Um, if you want to check out the ones on Amazon too, uh, I've seen like YouTube reviews comparing the two and the differences um, to YouTubers that I've seen are, are very minimal. Um, but 
if you want a warranty, it's the price you pay. This is good stuff. You do you, you do your research, but I think a slim wallet is a great, great gift uh, to any male out there who's still using a thick old school wallet. Let's talk about some sneakers. And you know, some sneakers that I like in terms of working out are Nike.com, of course, I'm a big Nike guy. Um, lately, that have been, they have been letting me down with their running shoes. Their Nike Pegasus line to me have been very, not as wide and not as, as formal, like they're just been very slimmed down. And you know, I, I get a lot of aches in the bottom of my feet. So I've been, you know, in terms of for running shoes, I've been using Hoko and those shoes are very, very, very comfortable for running anything from them for runners out there, for people who are on their feet for a long time, the Hoka One One is, um, you know, any line you get, any shoe you get pretty much would be guaranteed comfort. Um, check them out. They're good stuff. And if you go to your local running store, they should have some in stock. Um, they have free shipping and, you know, it's, it's, it's good stuff. So they have, a, I think they have a 30 day return policy too. Um, so if you order by today, it seems like uh, you have guaranteed shipping by the 25th or that or shop local. But there you go, Hoka One One, good stuff uh, for comfort and shoes. In terms of Nike, you know, Nike has, it's very stylish, right? So um, this is what I like about Nike that they push technology and style in, in, in unison. So um, I appreciate that of them. So a pair of Nike sneakers would be amazing. Um, right now I have been going retro and I have been enjoying wearing a pair of Air Forces. So uh, Nike Air Forces, they're classics. Uh, they go for $90, I believe, or 95, 90 actually. Um, and these things are my go-to comfort day-to-day -day sneakers that I just want to wear around. I have a white pair and I have a black pair and I just love them. Um, in terms of running, again, the Hoka One One are my uh, preferred brand of choice right now. Shoes that I do want to try out are the Allbirds. And I uh, haven't tried these. These are very popular in Boston. If you order before December 19th, as you can see here in the website, you're you know, guaranteed holiday delivery. Uh, they are getting into running shoes the way they produce their shoes are very eco-friendly they have different types of uh, manufacturing processes that are you know catered to the sustainment of this earth so okay um this is something that i would like to try out. i haven't tried it out yet i've heard good things there you know to a lot of people that I've, I've heard feedback from is that they're very comfortable so these are pretty cool um also uh shoes that i also like are that i like a lot are kohans and Kohans could be very, very expensive. Um, one thing that I would tell you is that they have a student, teacher, and government slash military discount, and it's 20% off. What I would recommend is finding a local outlet near you. If you have a Kohan outlet, that's where I get my Kohan shoes. And I'm completely, completely in love with their sneakers. Their shoes slash sneakers are amazing. And the reason I say this is because they offer the best balance of style and comfort. And you can dress them up, you can dress them down, as I'm scrolling through here and these things these shoes just look good they're classic they're timeless there's not they're not too shouty and um, they're very comfortable so uh, Kohan sneakers right now you can find a pair for 130 but again with you know a, a, a mixture of discounts and shopping in the outlets um, you're able to find a good pair that's very comfortable I highly highly recommend these types of shoes all right my favorite sneaker to wear on a day-to-day -day, aside from the Nike Air Forces are the Adidas Ultra Boost Adidas Ultra Boost usually go for 180. Um, if I was to Google it here, let's go here, and it seems like they have right here. So these sneakers here, they go for 180. But listen, I am telling you, these are the most comfortable sneakers aside from. Well, I've never used the Hoka One Ones to walk around it, but these are my lifestyle walk around sneakers of choice. The Ultra Boost, they are amazing. Um, they're very very comfortable, um, and I mean, I just I, I can't. I could just say comfortable, but these like legit. They are the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn in terms of like on a day to day and they hold up really, really well. A fun fact is that the tread of the Ultra Boost are made from a tire maker called Continental. They make a lot of sport, uh, tires for sports cars and, and, and great tires. So they're a great tire maker. And it's, it's kind of cool to see that they have that technology on the um, sole of their shoe. Okay, so those are my, you know, gift guides, my gift guide in terms of shoes and sneakers. Let's move on here. How many men now still wear cologne? Um, I don't know. Um, I do occasionally and let's talk about that real quick. My favorite types of scents are, well, my favorite right now is the 1 million from Paco Rabanne, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, if I was to go to Sephora here, they're right now at $92. This is legit my favorite, you know, cologne and it smells really good. So this is a high recommend, you know, try checking out your 
local Sephora or your local Ulta or whatever, these uh, 1 million from Paco Robain is amazing. Check them out. Um, I think it'll make a great, great gift. Uh, other types of uh, colognes that I like, uh, Calvin Klein, Men, Eternity, I think it's a very classic uh, scent. I have a cologne from Burberry and I have one from Porsche Design um, because of motorsport. Hashtag motorsport. But yeah, those are my colognes of choice and they'll probably be linked down below. All right, let's talk about coffee makers and coffee lovers. This has been something that I've been slowly getting into and for the coffee lovers out there, there's this nice, cool, high-tech mug called Ember Mug. And I think this would be a great, great gift because this is a mug that you can, uh, they have a travel mug as well uh, and different types of mug at different ounces. But this is a mug that keeps your coffee warm electronically. So there's like a pad. Let me see if I can show this here. Yeah, so there's like a small pad that you can, you know, put on your desk and it keeps your coffee warm. Um, as you can see here, and you can use your phone via an app to control the temperature to keep it at the right temperature that you like sipping your coffee or your drink or your tea or whatever. Um, I think this would make an awesome gift for, you know, tea or coffee drinkers. It's super, super cool. Another product that I also recommend is the Yeti. Um, and I have my Yeti here, but it's probably too late to get a customized one, but Yetis, if you go, if you shop local, if you go to Dick Sporting Goods or any sports uh, goods store, you'll be able to find a Yeti. Yetis are amazing. They are high quality. I've had this. I received this one during the Secret Santa at work, and it, that was about like well, I would want to say like maybe three, four years ago, and um, it's amazing. I love it. Um, it's still holding up strong. Um, I run it through the dishwasher every single time, and it's it's great. Um, Yetis, they come in different sizes. I have like three. This is the biggest size I have. I think it's the 32 ounce. Um, and let's see here, uh, it's a tumbler. So if you go to the tumblers, uh, they have different sizes here and you know, you can peruse throughout the website, but, um, I also enjoy the mugs where I drink my coffee out of. So these mugs here go for $25. I think, you know, if it's something you use every single day, $25 is worth it to me. Um, this it's great stuff. It keeps your, you know, drinks cold. It keeps your drinks warm for a very long time. Highly recommend. Good quality. Great gift idea. Staying on the theme of coffee lovers. I've been, if you saw in the last vlog, I've been utilizing the French press and the French press I use is from Bodum. So if you go to Bodum.com, they have different types of coffee accessories that are not, not too, that are not, not, that are not too pricey. Um, anything from Bodum. I know Alex gifted me a French press. I think she gifted me this one. And this is the one I've been using. Look at it right here. It's only $13. And it makes great, great, great coffee. Um, I've been loving it. Uh, French press, you know, you buy some grinds, you boil some water, you pour it in, you let it brew for four minutes, and then you, uh, you know, press the coffee down and serve. It's, it's great. It's good stuff. And uh, I highly recommend. I've also been, I can go to Keurig.com. And the Keurig that I've been using so far is the K mini and uh, I have mixed feelings about this one it's it's great it's convenient it's quick uh, the flip side to that to me I've been having inconsistent results with my coffee so uh, the coffee is either good or watered down or okay it's just too inconsistent for my liking when I wake up in the morning I like ritual routines and, and I have a very habitual way of waking up so the Cura K mini to me is inconsistent not really the best idea but for those who value convenience over taste this is a great great you know gift idea i mean it, it, if if you value convenience above anything and don't really you know the taste is not the biggest thing i'm not saying like it's just pure boiled water that it puts out there but um it doesn't give me that strong taste that i prefer if i'm ever in a pinch it comes in clutch i have also have the nespresso machine and the nespresso pixie is the one that i use um this is when i first started drinking well not when i first started drinking coffee when i first started making my coffee so the nespresso pixie is a nespresso machine nespresso has two lines they have a nespresso virtual and a nespresso uh pixie or, or a nespresso original machine and the original machines make your classic espresso. The uh, virtual uh, makes, uh, you know, your, your standard coffee size from an American standpoint, which that's the way I think about it. A bigger classic cup of coffee. Um, if you like lots of, I guess, coffee instead of a short little shot of espresso. Uh, so the one that I have is, and you can do your research for an espresso machine, they are on the pricier side. And to me, I started questioning myself. I'm like, hey, like, listen, if I'm gonna make coffee, the reason why I'm making coffee at home is pretty much to save money, right? To not like spend thousands of dollars a year on coffee alone. So um, instead of buying a machine and all this other stuff, where's the machine that I want? Um, let's go to original. 
and the one that I had was the, or the one that I still have and I still use, um, is the Nespresso, nope, not that one. Where is it? Right here, the Nespresso Pixie. And right now it's out of stock, but you can find it on Target or Amazon. And um, the Nespresso Pixie, I feel like, is the great, you know, if you like espresso, this is a great machine. It's a great machine because it gave me consistent results. It wasn't like the Keurig where it gave me inconsistent results. It was uh, convenient. It made it quickly. It was great. You know, there's not really much I have to say bad about the Pixie. I loved it. But the only thing is that, you know, I you know sometimes I still wanted a stronger taste. Sometimes I wanted, you know, more coffee instead of a shot. And I didn't want to spend more money on a machine. So that led me into getting the French press. And you know, I also have coming in tomorrow a mocha pot that I bought in Best Buy. And uh, the mocha pot that I chose was a mocha pot by, I think it's called Brim. Um, but right, the one that I'm showing right now is Bialetti. You know, this is a aluminum mocha cup, mocha pot maker. And it's a six cup espresso maker. And this is how my grandma used to make coffee. You know, it was a, it was a, a pot that you unscrew the bottom. It has a, a metallic filter. You put the coffee grinds, you put the water in the bot and the base, you put it all together and you start boiling it. Once you start boiling it um, and it stops boiling, the coffee's ready, you pour it and you're good to go. It's amazing. Um, it's good stuff. I always enjoy a cup of coffee made from grandma. It's amazing. I got the one uh, from Brim. And the reason why I chose this one is because um, it has a, a handle. It has a handle that doesn't burn off. So, you know, I wanted to make sure that the handle doesn't get burnt or, or starts melting. And the the actual material of the, of the mocha pot is stainless steel instead of aluminum, which I believe is more durable. So again, I like buying things once. So this one, um, I bought at Best Buy and I think it was about 50 or $60. In terms of car folks, okay, um, a, I think, you know, a really cool idea would be a subscription to Motor Trend TV On Demand. Uh, if you go to Motor Trend On Demand, you're able to probably sign, sign up for a subscription. And for people that love cars, this is the go-to place to watch a lot of car content. Um, I used to, you know, be a Motor Trend, you know, true and true like fan like before they had this on-demand service they used to publish their original shows on youtube and now they don't do that so fortunately now you have to subscribe but i really still think it's worth it especially the fact that they have top gear on motor trend now it's one of the best automotive shows ever i feel like a subscription of this would be very thoughtful for those people that are into cars oh if you're not into cars i would recommend legos believe it or not um i this year build a bugatti lego technic set so if you go to technic if you go to lego.com and search Technic, they have different types of Lego sets. So right now they have a Lamborghini one for 380. They have a Ducati one, which that might be my next one. It's nice and affordable. The last one I spent was like 350 and it was really, really expensive, but it was really fun. And it was fun because you start to appreciate the design and the and the process it takes to build a car while you're building the Lego set. It was really cool because they had a podcast that you can listen to and they had a booklet that showed you, you know, these nice images. And as you're building your Lego, you're listening to the podcast and listening to the to the engineer's thoughts, the designer thoughts, every thought that went into building the car, and you're basically building the car the same way that it's built in the factory, and they try to mirror that process as much as possible. This is amazing. Um, if you're a car nut, if you're a car geek, then to me, they, this was mind blowing. I really enjoyed the process. It took forever for me to do, but um, it is a great, great gift idea. Oh, another cool thing with guys, uh, you need your tools, right? This is a multi-tool and I love this thing. You know, this is a Gerber uh, multi-tool set. And I use this for pretty much when I don't want to take out a tool set. I have a set of pliers. Uh, this also has a, knife drill bits yeah so you can use this as a little you know a screwdriver if you need to like a phillips head like it's it's really really versatile and it's small and compact um this is this is pretty cool if you if you were to go on the website uh gerber gear you can find multi-tools knives uh, axes whatever you want to find right and this is pretty cool so if i was to type in multi tool um this is pretty sick you can find you know ones from fifty dollars to even more, but um, check out your local REI or mountain uh, shop and you should be able to find this, a Cabela's of sorts, but this is a great, great gift idea. For 50 bucks, you get a nice tool. Um, I'm sure they have a warranty. It's I've had this for like, I wanna say four or five years now and it's still going strong. And I just like doing that. It's like, nice. But uh, yeah, a good multi-tool. It's good stuff. It has a lot of stuff in here and it just, 
goes like this. And it's, sometimes it comes with a case that you're able to, you know, put the case on it and put this on your belt and it's, it's, it's good stuff. Last but not least, what I want to talk about is, you know, my skincare regimen. And one company that I've been following from day one since they first, first started off and I first saw this is Bevel. You know, it's been a struggle for me, always struggling with uh, razor bumps as I'm shaving and, and finding great and finding great products for um, black men, basically, and, 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 and men with coarse or curly hair. And it's always been a struggle. I had to research, you know, what shampoo and I had to get it from this company and I had to get the conditioner from another company and I had to get my face wash from another company. Like there was there wasn't just a one stop shop. Right now there is. And, you know, this ain't sponsored. I'm not a, a brand ambassador. I'm not any of that. But to me, you know, I've always been impressed on what Bevel does. And uh, as I was preparing for this video, I noticed that I created a video on Bevel. You know, it was my first YouTube video. I probably, it's, it's still on YouTube if you want to go check it out on my channel. And um, I'll probably publish the full video on IGTV, but I noticed that I'm actually on their website um, right here, which is pretty cool. I just found this out last night and it's, 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 it's nice that, you know, they are, you know, just listening and, and, and hearing what people have to say about their brand. Cause it's, 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 it's really good. It's really good. Um, so what do they have? They have, you know, pretty much any skincare products you need for men. Uh, they have a, a, a trimmer that I use. Alex is a cosmetologist. She has her cosmetology license and she gives me a haircut every other week or every week and gives me and lines me up with the bevel trimmer. This is good, good stuff. And I'm very, very satisfied with it. Um, in terms of body uh, products, you know, I have their lotion, their deodorant, which is aluminum free. It, uh, it, it doesn't stain your white t-shirts. People, like that's big. <laughs> um, you know, you got your bars of soap, your body wash, your 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 body lotion, and just everything. It's super cool. They have shaving products that you know prevent razor bumps. Um, they have an entire system, um, and it's it's and I, I've used it. It's great. You know, it's very high quality. The the, the uh, safety razor they have is very weighted, and and you don't have to put press, or you just it just glides off. You know, with the with the with the pre shaving oil you put. On. It's it's good stuff. I recommend you watching my video if you are interested in this. Um, they have a lot of lot of products, which is the hair. They have shampoo, conditioner, um, beard balm, um, beard softeners. They they it's a it's a one stop shop. And if you know somebody that has coarse or curly hair or has been struggling to find a skincare products that you know or skincare products that really really cater to them um i'd suggest you check them out i really do suggest you check them out i think they have a sister brand too i never get the name but they have a a sister brand let me see bevel for women um if you are a female of color bevel for women oh it's called form so also go to form.com this company is made from the same people that make bevel so uh form beauty right here th this looks super cool you know i don't know maybe for the females out there this is something to check out because you know i struggled finding skincare products for men for black men that really catered to me and not just a general populace so uh form beauty it's nice that it's nice that they're doing that too this video has gone you know a lot longer than i thought and i really hope you enjoyed this gift guide if you have any questions uh feel free to dm me on instagram um, I'll try to, you know, answer as much as I can, but this was pretty much my gift guide for 2020. I hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.